I how, served with your wife incestuous. on the board of uh, Ford's Theater. Well, that's a good cause, Ford's Theater. I served Let with me your ask wife you. on a board. <laughs> Thank you. Let me ask you about uh, about your chart. Uh, about uh, unlike another woman in this race, I actually love spending time with my husband. Which is the other woman in the race? Who? Oh, come on, Chris. You know, you know. Who? Hillary Clinton. Well, why would you talk about another she person's is, marriage? She is. She is the other person in the race. She is the other person in the race. Well, look, Chris, Hillary Clinton is, you know, rolling out her husband to campaign for her, but she is also talking about her husband's uh, administration as an example of Democrat policies and how successful they've been. So I think it's pretty clear that Bill Clinton is fair game. Well, do you think all marriages are? I noticed you just picked one out, but you know, did you, did you have you studied the movements of other married couples and seen how often they spend time together or not? I mean, why this couple? Because she's running for president, Chris. No, Hello? I mean among the other candidates, the other candidates and their spouses. Have you checked all their relationships to see their travel movements no, and schedules? No, absolutely not. See? You see, well, why no, focus you see, on the movements? Only, the, there's the only Clintons. two women running for president, Chris. There's only two yeah. women running for president. I'm one, and Mrs. Clinton is the other. So there are only two men who are potentially going to be first dude or whatever we're going to call them. Right. My husband and her husband. That's it. That's all there is. Okay, let me ask you this, because everybody does it to me. I'm going to ask it to you. I think it's I think it's relevant whether somebody under the Constitution is eligible to run for president. Someone like Michelle Bachman just told me, well, let's talk about the important things. And I will say, well, constitutional eligibility would be pretty central. What's the centrality to you of the relationship between Hillary and Bill Clinton to the debate over who should be our next president? Chris, I think everything about all of our lives is relevant. You know why? Because you cannot lead unless people trust you. They cannot trust you unless they know you. And that's why I've been open about all aspects of my life, whether it's the tragic death of our daughter, Lori, or the fact that I was fired at Hewlett Packard and why. People cannot trust you if they do not know you. And Mrs. Clinton's biggest problem is that people do not trust her. And there's so much evidence as to why they don't. I mean, we have run out of gates to explain all the scandals that have dogged Bill and Hillary Clinton. The Clinton Global Initiative is like a Ponzi scheme to buy influence to this government. And Bill and Hillary Clinton sit on top of it. The truth is, Mrs. Clinton has escaped prosecution more times than El Chapo. I mean, maybe Sean Penn is standing by waiting to interview yeah, her. Yeah, I know. Well, trust, trust is central yeah. to leadership, and she does not have the trust of the American people. Okay, here's but your she's answer. She's on her way to become the Democrat nominee. I'll let you. I'll let. Just like when people say I don't like New York values, but won't tell me what they mean, I'm going to ask you this: Do you believe the Clintons have a real marriage? They've you been seem married to be for a they very don't. long time. They've been married for a very long time. So it's a real marriage. They've been married so a, for a very long time. It's a real marriage thing. You'll say that. They've been married for a long time. Why are you hiding from an answer? I'm not. I'm answering your Because you your brought question. up this They've very unpleasant subject. Of, just to know wow, the audience. There are, so, there are so many other things we could talk about, like well, the fact I'm quoting that Mrs. Back Clinton to you when wants you brought to up go. In the debate. Mrs. Clinton. Mrs. Clinton wants to go to the White House. She's qualified for the big house. She should be prosecuted. She has not been prosecuted for things that took a great warrior out of office, David Petraeus. So let's talk about that, Chris. Let's talk about how amazing it is that this woman who cannot be trusted, who should have been prosecuted by now, has just raked in more money than any single candidate. Let's talk about that and what that says about the Democrat Party and what that says about people's desire to keep the political establishment in place. She's inside that establishment and people like Donald Trump are outside that establishment. She rakes in millions sitting inside government selling access and influence and Donald Trump rakes in billions buying people like Hillary Clinton. Let okay. us talk about that. Until we are well, willing to challenge the establishment of both parties, we will never take our country back and crony capitalism will continue to explode and she's right at the center of it. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe 
subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.